what's up what's up good morning guys how you guys doing anyway i hope you guys had a great night last night so uh, we're gonna go ahead and jump to segment one so we can talk about um the DraftKings and nba dfs for uh december 15 10 more days till christmas december 15 2018 um Anyway, uh, this Saturday there's also football. There's a two game for football, and I believe it's a six game for NBA. So we're gonna go ahead and jump straight to segment one and take a look at the night before. So the night before, uh, J. Rich, 37.25. Uh, the return value match should be wrong. It should be more than that. But Ibaka had. Uh, Ibaka had a 28.50, 4.5 return. That was actually really bad. I mean, like, I believe he has about that for the first half, and I don't know what happened in the second half. Um, Fox did really good, 6.9x return. So that was really great to see. And um, my good, oh, man, he's bad. So uh, I switched him in another lineup, but hopefully you guys switch him too with... Uh, all the news that came out before uh, the slit started and Walker uh, man that team scored 120 30 some points and I thought in a game like that I thought they would have like 70 but uh, it wasn't the case so uh, he only had uh, 43 which is a 43 25 uh, which is a uh, 4.7 return um as far as uh j rich uh the return value i'm gonna give it to you guys in a second for j rich the return value was uh 6.7 so that was really good uh, i don't know how i end up putting 6.7 so uh you have uh j rich and facts did really great and uh, so we're going to go ahead and jump to a uh, segment uh, two, which is the price differences between the two sites. So let's go ahead and jump to segment two. All right, guys, for uh, tonight, uh, Capella is 9 point, Capella is 9.1K, 8.1K in DK. I will definitely use them, uh, 1K difference. Uh, ball 6.9, 5.6. Again, I don't like ball on FD, but DK definitely. My gear, same thing, 4.7K. 1.K difference is Carlinson. Uh, I don't know, I never like this guy, but I definitely like him too more because of. Uh, I like him too more, so I will definitely take a chance on him too more. So, if it works out, and Jeremy Grant. Price 3.9k. I will definitely get him in a couple of lineups uh, for sure. So let's go ahead, guys. Let's jump to the main ingredients of the show, which is going to DK website and give you guys the five players I have for the for tonight. So the first play I'm going with is uh, B A L L. Lonzo. So Lonzo will be my guy. Uh, I'm still waiting to see that big Lonzo game because this guy should be able to do way more than he's doing with all those minutes. Look at that. 37, 35. And yet, he's, he only returned uh, 34, 23. 34 is not bad, but uh, I'm ex still expecting. I'm waiting for a 40 and a 50. From Lonzo Ball. Hopefully uh, tonight will be it. So uh, uh, Lonzo Ball will be a key guys on my lineup. And uh, another guy I'm gonna go with and uh, is Warren. Warren right now is the guy in Phoenix. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on with that trade. Why is uh, of course gonna be out tomorrow? I already supposed to be getting traded. Then again, I heard something about. The trade didn't go through. I'm not sure if that's true or not, but uh, uh, but uh, Warren will be a guy that I will be using tomorrow. And uh, the next guy, because he's basically the main team right now, doing all scoring, can do a little bit of everything. And the next guy I'm using is Holiday. 
now that uh, let's see. yes holiday will definitely be a key guy for me on my coaching why because one is Levine is out and holiday is basically the guy that paid the most when it's come for points on his team I'm not sure why this thing is going on but uh, holiday will definitely be a key guy on my team and uh, the cheap guy I will probably have him 100% tomorrow is so wait uh, Dario at uh, 4.2k he's gonna be he should be starting tomorrow why because if you go to Minnesota uh, Taj Gibson will be out because of a personal reason so uh, Sarge will be definitely a, a cheap guy for me but also I will have him I will go 100% with him in every single lineup and the star of the night will be in the same game and I will go with I will say with that team I will go with Towns as my star of the night uh, that one will be my star of the night so guys uh, that's basically my star of the night Ta, you know I expect a big game from him tomorrow and hopefully you know it, it doesn't play too soft and, uh, and grabs about 15 rebounds tomorrow against that sorry Phoenix game team. Phoenix are just bad right now. Town should be able to do everything that he wants with that team. So that's what I'm expecting tomorrow. I just hope somehow Phoenix can keep it close. Alright guys, th those are my five guys. So we're not going to jump to the cheap players for segment four. Cheap play, cheap plays. Alright, uh, the cheap will be uh, Holmes at 4K. So if you rise up, most likely not playing tomorrow. Wait, they say he got traded, but I heard some about the trade didn't go to. But even if I don't expect him to play, so that's probably gonna probably Holmes to play a little bit more minutes. Uh, you know, with the minutes, he is actually pretty good when he's come for many sequence per minute. Grant, we went Nike, hasn't been good lately, but still play uh, Boku, you know, a lot of minutes. So, hopefully, that's the case. Boban, with great minutes, come great many sequence per minute, you know. <laughs> so, that's that's my uh, Spider-Man thing with Boban. Uh, White plays decent minutes as a starter, but... We're talking about pop so you know pop anything can happen so let's just hope nothing happened and let's hope he does play uh, a game and have a decent game because this guy can play some minutes and still doesn't give you anything lucky uh, for last game it was a blowout and that saved him he stay in the game and then uh, get up to 20 fantasy points talker play heavy minute as started but doesn't really do much it's like the first quarter it come out and give you like 10 13 fantasy points and then that's basically it he's done that so many times you see that is crazy and uh and why because i use them a lot i use them sometimes especially when i stack houston and and i see those things happening uh you know it's just that there's no reason to get excited when you see get like 10 12 in the first quarter because you know he's capable of just staying there uh, which is crazy Stanley um, has been good off the bench that was before he got hurt so hopefully he can get back to form and uh, and right now they have a lot of guys out so hopefully he can play a lot of minutes and, and continue to build on what he's doing when this guy was coming out of college him and Winslow uh, I remember I was watching the draft and I wanted Miami to pick him but either him you know a Winslow but uh, so far I don't see what I thought I was expecting from both of them actually he actually been worse than Winslow uh, here and there you know they show some flashes but not what I was expecting was that year four or something like that 
Anyway, uh, Mikael or Michael, whatever you guys want to call him, Bridges uh, for Phoenix, 2.7k. Not good when it comes to fantasy, but this guy play a lot of minutes. So I'm hoping, you know, with some guys out of the lineup, and there's a chance. Oh, you know, now I'm thinking of there's a chance. Uh, let's go to Phoenix. Real, let's go to Phoenix real quick. There's a chance that Booker my play uh tonight so let's hope he doesn't play i'm hoping they keep him and he doesn't play so uh you know especially for my pick uh four and so all right so uh crawford also if bunker is out crawford should see decent minute because he had a great game last game after missing like a couple of games and archie b Kono. I hope I could be decent with Levine, Levine out or Levine, whichever way he wants Levine. So he could go back and give you 20, 25 fantasy points uh, with Levine out. So let's, that's what I'm hoping for. So guys, uh, as I always said, don't go out and spend money. I wish you guys uh, good luck. I wish you guys the best and uh, you know, be safe. The holidays out. I wish all of you guys happy holidays to you and your family. And good luck in Saturday football and s basketball. Uh, I play both. I never really miss a day, but basketball is what I like. That's my passion mostly when it's come for fantasy compared to the other sports. Uh, I'm out, guys.